Hi, it's Trina with Redneck Rhapsody. And we're here with another tasty concoction for you today. I have been playing with trying to figure out one of my mother's favorite drinks. I never got it written down. I wish I had it. But I think I've just about mastered it. And who knew it was so simple. I should have asked all those years ago and got it written down, but I didn't. But I'm gonna share it with you today. And I'm calling it, she called it Purple Passion. She says, it's my Purple Passion. And for any of you who can remember that, might have had parents or grandparents. Yeah, I'm reaching way back to the younger generation. She had a Tupperware 64 ounce pitcher that we kept in our refrigerator, usually with tea in it. But on the weekends, on a Friday night, before her and my stepdad would have went dancing about probably once a month, every other month, something like that, I knew better than to touch the gold, autumn gold Tupperware pitcher. It had the white or kind of off-white lid that looked kind of like a sunflower. I know it wasn't, but it had it where you had the finger. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. You got it. Anyway, it would have had her purple passion in it because my stepdad made her a whole pitcher. She didn't drink the whole pitcher, but she had the whole pitcher made for her. And um, I'm feeling that it was probably fairly fermented well enough it probably lasted till the next month when they decided to go out dancing of course back then i was a little tyke probably seven six seven something like that it may have went in a flask and it may have went to the party with them i just don't remember but with that being said i do remember remember taking a sip of it and thinking hmm i don't know if i like that at that time i didn't know what that it even had alcohol in it. But I'm sure it did, because over the years, I watched her make it, but I never wrote the recipe down. So, no further ado, I'm calling this an old-fashioned Southern Redneck Purple Passion. It is not gonna taste like any of the Purple Passion you've ever bought at the liquor store, because I've tried them and they've never tasted anything like it. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of ice, and this is a 24 ounce glass, and the amount of ice is up to you. It will water this down and weaken it. So if you don't want that to happen, don't add as much ice and make sure your juices have been refrigerated. And I am using just a basic grape juice. I got the bottle, but I do remember mom used to get the frozen concentrated in the can out of the freezer, of the cooler at the store and she would put that in there or my stepdad would and you added like two or three cans of water to it i don't even remember but anyway i do remember they did that and then for grape your grapefruit juice that is your other main player in this little tasty dessert or it ain't a dessert Shit. drink i i have not had that much to drink yet y'all i promise you can see it's still full and I've been working on recipes, but I haven't had that much to drink. I do know it's drinks and not dessert, but I'd rather have a drink than dessert, especially right now with being cooped up in the house without my friends. But it is no fun drinking alone. I'd rather have my friends. Grapefruit juice, y'all. I'm not gonna chase the rabbit or squirrel very long. Grapefruit juice, yes, I'm ADD. And while we're talking about ADD, I'm gonna drop it down below. There's Redneck Rhapsody, and if you hadn't subscribed, you need to, cause I'm and y'all want to hang out with me because I'll give you some good drinks, some good tips, some DIY. I do a little bit of traveling. I kind of a girl. I, I'm a mixed bag of tricks. Just going to say that. But um, I like the yellow. I couldn't find the yellow when I got ready to try to make this. But I do want 100% grapefruit juice. No sugar added. And the grape juice also is no sugar added. I don't want any sugar in this one. It's not going to be a sweet drink. And then you're going to need vodka of your choice. I chose Rocktown. 
you do what you want but that's the local distillery here in arkansas and that's kind of who i'm hanging with at the time because you know we love trying to stay local i have already prepped this to pour it it's four ounces of vodka four ounces of grape juice and i have eight ounces of grapefruit juice so if you wanted a little stouter you can always add a little more vodka if you like it a little sweeter you add a little more grape juice a little tartar you want to go with the grapefruit juice but this my friends is tasty it's not too sweet it's not gonna leave you thinking oh i feel like i'm gonna be a little bit sick because it's just too sweet but the one thing my mama did do that she taught me she taught me a long time ago that if you're ever going to eat grapefruit, you will put salt on it because salt counteracts the tart of the grapefruit. And so she would hit it with a sprinkle of salt. And yes, I'm going to stir it up before I do that because it just does something. That is like the little special secret in this sauce right here for this old-fashioned southern redneck purple passion. So, get your passion on. I hope you uh, try this and let me know in the comments below if you like it. And if it's not to your taste buds, I promise you there is something on this channel that you will probably like. And if you like sweeter things, I know there's a lot of things on there you're gonna like. So, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to Redneck Rhapsody. Hit the bell if you don't wanna miss any of our videos and come hang out with us, y'all. It's a good time. Cheers. Yum.